one of the most important things in life to me is not only that we cook uh, and we can do great things, but the give back portion of that. We spend about 345 days a year on the road and 150 days of that is giving back to our military, their families, kids with cancer. So I truly believe anybody that is successful and has the ability to change people's lives should do on a daily basis. Cooking is a great art form and is very expressive, like painting or writing or filmmaking even. Um, but what it does to people's lives is, is something special. Uh, that's why we do it. You know, it's great that, that you can donate to folks and you can give money. But the real essence in giving is actually being in an event and meeting, greeting, touching and feeling um, not only the people that you're supporting, but also the chefs and musicians, who, whatever the event is. So you're investing time. Time is something that you can't get back. There are literally hundreds and thousands of charity events all over the globe. But what Beats and Eats is doing different is combining music and food, two of which is kind of interesting. When you think about a, an unwritten score of music, if we leave the ending score off, the, the music's half finished. It's like a recipe. If we don't add certain things, the dish is not the best it can be. So when you go to an event that supports great charities, you're actually investing not only your money, but your time into something that you truly believe in. There are people less fortunate out there in the world than ourselves, and it doesn't have to include money. It could be uh, walking somebody across the road. It could be um, telling somebody it's gonna be okay. It could be buying a cup of coffee or buying groceries. Whatever it is, it's our responsibility uh, as successful human beings to give back to those less fortunate. So Philadelphia to me is, is kind of an eclectic city full of great energy with great restaurants, great people, and so historic. When I came here in 1996, Philadelphia was the first place that I stopped uh, on my way to Atlantic City to run uh, a casino. And I was so blown away by the hospitality, by the food, and by the greatness uh, of giving people. And that's Philadelphia to me. Ladies and gentlemen, Chef Robert Irvine.